Hello, hello, welcome to my garage. Today is new bike day for me, which is very rare, as you can see from the big collection of retro tats that I have in my garage. Never usually get new bikes. Uh, by the video title and by the very small box in front of me, you may have guessed I've bought myself a Bronx. Uh, and specifically, I bought a B75, which is the bottom of the range. Um, it's partly because I'm cheap and partly because I didn't really need all the rack and all the lights and all the mud guards. Like that's all stuff I can add on later. So I thought I'd get the, the bog standard one. Plus I really like the colour it came in, as you will see in a minute. So yeah, so why have I bought a Brompton? Um, basically because I have aspirations to go places again, you know, to travel, like, like a lot of people do, I'm fairly certain. So to make it easier than it was last time I travelled with with this bad boy here, my old uh, Cannondale F1000, I took this all the way from uh, from here in the UK via Toronto, where I lived for six months. Then I took it down to New York by Greyhound bus, which was an absolute nightmare. Then I then went then it flew via UPS actually. No, it, it got sent via UPS to Vancouver. Uh, that was a huge pain in the ass because they yeah they they delayed it by like a few weeks so I didn't have my bike all the time there which sucked uh, then I drove it down to Seattle and uh, posted it again by FedEx down to Florida to uh, Tampa Bay area where I rode it around for a couple of months and then I drove it myself in the back of a Ford Crown Victoria you know one of those old cop car things um, which fit quite nicely and um, drove that all the way up to Montreal which was great and then it went by via sea, which took like a month uh, back to the UK. So it's a pretty well-traveled bike. I spent way more than it's actually worth to actually ship it. So yeah, that's the idea with the Brompton, right? So to kind of uh, alleviate that stress. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is a brand new 2021 Brompton. Like this, they literally sort of, they'd sold out for ages and then they came back on the website so I snapped one up and uh, I'm going to London this weekend as well so I'm going to give it a first ride which is pretty sweet so let's get this bad boy unboxed all right there's a far more interesting box on the inside so yeah lovely Brompton box made for cities well just as well I live in the countryside so what we got first unfolding happiness Stop before riding your bike, you must follow the quick start guys. Uh, I think I'll be alright. Got owner's manual, with a pedal and a bell, very nice. Seat, like a seat. And all the clips, nice wrench. Yeah, clips in back. Cool. Let's have a look then. my other camera wasn't recording so that's really annoying I'm not going to put it back in the box you've seen the box you've seen someone taking something out of the box but yeah so this looks pretty intuitive um, I think I know what I'm doing I'm just screwing these little little doodads here yeah all I'm going to do is put a bit of grease on and uh, get it done properly up later on, I'm going to stick the seat on, uh, going to stick the pedals on, uh, yeah, and 
We'll see where we get to. So I've ridden from the XL down to the concrete jungle that is Canary Wharf, Isle of Dogs. Um, yeah, I've ridden first ride in the Brompton, and uh, yeah, I must say, pretty damn fun. So I've been hopping up and down curbs like I do on a BMX, because I'm kind of used to that. Uh, and it seems to be coping with it. Despite the kind of loose connection between the, uh, the little suspension block and the frame, uh, it's, it's fine, because it's it cushions it, it's really nice. The gear ratio is pretty good. I've been in the highest gear, so it's a three speed this one. I've been in the highest gear the entire time, pretty much, apart from going over the bridge. And it seems to cope with things. Um, only thing that are a bit crappy are the pedals. Like, I could do a change on those out. They're just standard plastic Welgo ones. Right, mate. <laughs> Michael here? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> What's with the bike? Yeah. Uh, it's 850. Yeah, I've just got it. Uh, yeah, first ride on it. I've just, yeah, it's quite nice. It's a bit weird looking, but yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Take it easy, man. It's nice and friendly around here. It's dead as well, like no one here at all. Quite nice. Yeah, um, anyway, where was I? So, yeah, another thing that's a bit annoying is the gear shifter. Uh, I know the new ones, the ones that aren't the B17, but the more expensive ones, I know that they uh, come with an inbuilt brake and gear shifter. But yeah, this one rattles around a bit, so I'm gonna have to do something about that because that's I hate things that rattle. <laughs> but it's all good, it's all good. Uh, what else to note? Oh, yeah, I catch my feet on these little wheels, but that's just something to get used to. But yeah, it's been performing really well really like it. It's uh, kind of more stable than I thought with the 16 inch wheels. Uh, yeah, so I've already swapped out the Brooks, uh, uh, the original saddle. I didn't even put that on, I just put my Brooks B17 on because it's nice. Although like, it does need a bit of wearing in. Yeah, so verdict on the shiny new Brompton is good. I've even worn my uh, matching shoes today. And socks almost. So I'm going to have a little ride back, uh, see if I can't break it on the way back. What a terrifying statue. Not sure what this is supposed to symbolise, but... Beautiful. So this morning I decided to go for a little ride. It's about seven miles from uh, from Docklands. Decided to come to a famous bridge. Brompton's still doing well. I was a bit worried this morning because uh, it looked a bit wet, but not an awful amount of spray. A bit. I'm kind of used to it though. It's the Thames rib experience. Mm. Well, somewhat blocked off by some sort of big run there, but I was going to go over Tower Bridge, but you might be able to see it in the distance. There's like a shit ton of runners going over it. But never mind. Yeah, not bad before 10 o'clock. So what's my verdict on the Brompton B75? 
when it comes to pedaling, the Sturmy Archer hub is is amazing for when you're stopping and starting at lights because you can shift down while stopped rather than having to keep pedaling like on a normal geared bike. And although you can get a six speed, I think the three speed is just enough for me. Although I, I do like to go quite fast, so I might upgrade the front chainring to something bigger at some point for a bit of extra zip. The lower gears are just fine though. It rides pretty much like a normal bike in every way. The small wheels make it hoppable up curbs while it's still stable enough to bomb down a hill. I ride a ton of different, albeit not particularly modern bikes on and off road and it didn't really feel weird riding it at all. So because this is the cheapest version by quite a long way, this was £850. The next cheapest Brompton on the on their website is the M3L, which is £1,290, which is a pretty sizable difference of £440. The extra £440 gives you mudguards, a folding pedal, a luggage block, some lights, and some slightly upgraded brake levers, shifters, and a different saddle. Now, I don't really think it's worth the extra money up front, as everything works on the B75 just as it should. I've upgraded the seat as I had a book Brooks B17 lying around and yeah, I, I think it's a really awesome saddle and I wasn't using it at the time, but I don't think it was particularly necessary, the, the original one would do just fine. I will upgrade the pedals at some point because they are a bit crap, but they're perfectly functional. The brakes are fine as well and the shifter works perfectly even though it's a bit rattly, so I might upgrade that too at some point. Overall then, I don't regret my purchase one bit. It's such a fun little bike, uh, it's in a great colour, and you can fold it up and bung it in a suitcase and take it to Timbuktu if you like, or well, when we're allowed to anyway. I've avoided folding bikes up until now because I was afraid of looking a bit like a tit. They're kind of weird looking and they attract attention, I wasn't really up for that. But now as I've got older, I care a lot less about what people think, so I, I think I'm ready for a Brompton in my life. Plus, they're just super handy. So, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, etc., for more bike related stuff. There will be more Brompton content as well as the regular retro MTB and just random bike stuff. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Goodbye.